Hi everyone, it's Justine. What is minimalist fashion? Minimalist is one of the most overused words in the fashion industry. It can mean pretty much anything. So today I'd like to discuss what I think it means, what I think it doesn't mean, where it comes from, and which brands and designers are actually minimalist brands, in my opinion. Minimalist fashion, what is that? When people say this outfit is minimalistic or minimalist, often they are looking at the first things one sees in an outfit, the overall shape, the colors, and the lines. For instance, this would typically be called a minimalist outfit. It's monochromatic, it seems simple, you see straight lines, it looks really clean and tidy. And that is partly true, it's a good start for a definition. But this outfit is also monochromatic, simple, and it has straight lines. Yet you would probably call it casual rather than minimalistic, am I right? So what's the difference between those two? For me, tailoring is the difference. Constructing a garment that has interesting proportions, that falls right, and that seems simple, is in fact extremely difficult, and it's a matter of tailoring skills. Tailoring is the difference between a casual garment and a classy garment. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be wearing a jacket, a suit jacket with shoulders and everything, but it means that the clothes that you're wearing fit well and the cut is on point. For me, a look is minimalistic when it's looking like it's simple, when it's clean, free of additions and embellishments, and when it's well tailored what minimalist fashion is not. Minimalism doesn't mean that the construction of the garment is in itself basic. In fact, it just looks simple, but it might be very complicated after all, and making something complicated seem simple is an art. Minimalism does not mean less fabric is more, or that what you wear has to be super thin, sheer, or transparent. It also doesn't say that the outfit can't be quite structured. It can have a heavy structure on the inside to help it keep its shape. Minimalism also doesn't mean that you can't have textured or patterned fabrics, because why not? Of course you can. Minimalism does not mean monochromatic, that you're wearing all black and white or that you're wearing only neutrals. In fact, the cut and the silhouette, in my opinion, is much more important than the color choices. When you look at the Celine runway, the garments look simple, but the tailoring is in fact impeccable. The fit is perfect, the quality of the execution is visible everywhere. You see that she made clear choices in terms of proportions, it's overall cohesive, and yet individually very varied, if that makes sense. Where minimalism comes from, quality over quantity. Minimalist fashion, for me, is in fact an aesthetic. It's a mindset that became bigger with the financial crisis at the beginning of this century. With decreasing purchasing power, people starting to think a lot more about what they wore. Is it worth my money? Does it fit me right? Can I combine that with all the pieces I already own? And if you're starting to get picky to prioritize quality over quantity and to reduce what you have in your closet, you get very close to what you might know as the concept of capsule wardrobe. But I don't think that having a minimalist fashion aesthetic always means that you have to own less and less clothes. I think a capsule wardrobe is rather a consequence of that mindset or a tool to help you get there, and a very useful tool. I've done several videos this year and last year on how to build a capsule wardrobe. I will link them here in the corner and down below for you. Which brands and designers are minimalists? You saw a photo of the Celine runway already a few minutes ago. Phoebe Philo, the designer, now ex-designer of the house, is the queen of impeccable, luxurious fashion that seems so simple and so intuitive and organic, but is in fact so very high-end. The look on the left is from fall winter 2011, then spring summer 2010, and then spring summer 2015. Especially the one in the middle impresses me. It's technically just a top and a bottom, no bling bling plain colors. And yet the cut and the proportions are so innovative and special. If you look closer, it's a unique look. The next label that comes to my mind is Jill Sander, which shows at Milan Fashion Week in Italy. As you see in these examples, everything that is not necessary to the design has been taken out, and yet nothing is missing. The cuts are clean, elegant, definitely not casual. Do you agree? Jill Sander is not as famous as, let's say, Calvin Klein, but I really like the aesthetic of the house. Now, looking on the American side, the most minimalistic brand currently would probably be Theory. They are the champions of shirting. If you need a high-end 
white crisp shirt that's well tailored, it's a great brand to look into. Vogue calls pieces like this unshowy clothes. They're not loud, but they're extremely well cut in high quality fabrics that look and feel luxurious. And here again, you see that they're not only black and white. The clothes are easy to combine, comfortable and special, which is everything I want. And when I design, I always try to create things that are combinable, comfortable and special. In the end, minimalist clothing is well-made, smart and of good quality without all the fuss. And I think those points are all absolutely essential to get good design. What do you think makes good design? Which characteristics are you looking for when you go shopping for clothes? Thumbs up if this video made you think for a minute. Thank you very much. And if you're in the market for a new shirt, by the way, here is a video and also in the description below on how a shirt should fit. When it fits right, you might find it useful. And I'll see you very soon again in a new video. Bye. Thank you.